Hello, my name is Isham. I am a customer success manager here at Sensinet, and today we will learn how to use Sensinet Caspi to block certain functionalities in unsanctioned cloud storage applications. It's not surprising that cloud computing services are so common in offices today, whether on site or off site. If employees can access and share data, productivity increases. Unfortunately, that comes at a cost. A huge number of cloud applications are being used to store sensitive data, which can lead to losing the ability to keep it visible and under control. This puts your company at a lot of human-centered risks. Since user's error is a common risk, you might not even be aware of it, but it might also manifest as an anomalous activity that is connected to a compromised or malicious content, or even an insider breach. Traditional security measures only have two options for controlling access, block it or allow it. So how can the BOID environment and cloud app be secured without interfering? The Sensinet Cloud Application Security products provides multi-mode solutions as part of the unified security service platform. We'll talk more today about inline mode, which is deployed using agents or proxies or a combination of both to meet the needs of organizations of all size. This flexible architecture significantly reduces the effort involved in implementing and managing the solution, accelerating time to value. So let's have a look at how we can easily create rules that stop certain functionalities in your sanctioned apps. Prior to creating the rules, maybe it's a good idea to inform all employees about this change of policy within the company. This means you need to create a custom warning template. Once you create the warning rule with the custom template, the rule will trigger immediately if someone is trying to access an unsanctioned cloud storage application. You can run this rule permanently or enable it for a certain per period then turn it off. Once you decide what are the unsanctioned cloud storage apps that shouldn't be used for upload, kindly set custom risk to very high. In the cloud storage app catalog, we have a variety of apps. If there is one not showing in the list, kindly reach out to our support and we will add it. In this example, we will be using WeTransfer. WeTransfer has as an action send a file. Other applications might show upload a file or share a file. So we will be looking at send a file, setting it to very high. Now let's have a quick look at the three rules that we would like to create. They are already preset here and I'm gonna guide you through each. For one reason or another, you want to allow certain users or groups to access and sanction cloud storage apps. In this example, they'll be allowed to upload. We will add the specific class, which is cloud storage, and the cloud risk level that we set to very high into the conditions. This way the users can access the unsanctioned cloud storage applications and be able to upload. Then we create the block rule, which is similar to the allow rule. The difference is this one will be blocking the users that are not allowed to upload using and sanctioned cloud storage apps. After we create the warn rule that gives a briefing on the unsanctioned cloud storage apps. Now I'm going to enter WeTransfer and I should see the warning page. As I said earlier, you can customize the color, the text, 
you can even add the logo of the company into the warning page. I click continue. I am able to access the application. However, I am unable to transfer a file outside the company. I would get the error by we transfer. If you want pop-ups customized to the error that you would like to show to your users, you would need to use our DLP module. We reached the end of our video. Hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, please do search now. Thank you.